Hi everyone, I've been doing a lot of shopping lately so I figured I might as well do a haul video for you. So first off, I only bought one thing at Sephora, but because I've been watching Candy Johnson and I've really needed a new um, hair straightener, I decided to go out and get the Seductress from Sultra. And so far, I love it. It's pretty amazing. Um, I like that you can use it with the different thickness of your hair. So if you have fine hair, thick hair, or even just normal hair, you can make it to that and it's going to heat your hair to the way, or it's going to heat the, the straightener to the way that it needs to be heated for your type of hair. I also think it, it's really cool because it came with instructions, of course, but it also came with this register your styling tools, and um, you can re register it at Sultra.com, and it also has like a really good warranty and all of that. Um, the next place that I went to was um, Long's. It's Long's here where I live, but it's actually called, I guess in the mainland, it's called CVS. And so I decided that I wanted to get a few different things that were cheaper because I wanted to make sure that I liked the colors and that type of thing before I went out and bought like a high-end brand of um, these colors. So I need a new blush and I got the Pearlescent Pink brush, uh, blush from Wet n Wild and it looks like this. And then that's a swatch for you. The next blush that I got was a little bit more of like a like a berry color, and it's actually called Berry Shimmer from Wet n Wild, and this is that color. Hopefully you get a true color there. And this is a swatch for that. So it's really, really pigmented, and I kind of like that because then I can, you know, choose how I want to use the blush. Like, if I can use it very lightly, or if I could go really dramatic if I wanted to. And, you know, if I wanted to, I could actually use these colors as an eyeshadow as well if I wanted to go crazy. So the next thing that I got, which I really needed, was a really good powder brush from... And I got it from... Uh, longs as well and it's a it's this brush here it's a regular powder brush from the essence of beauty and for some reason I really really love this line essence of beauty um, and it came in this it's just called a purse powder brush and my friend used it and she uses it for her foundation routine and I just thought it was amazing when I was putting makeup on her with her brush and I was just like I have to get myself one so I did and it's just it's so soft and it just it feels so good so that is something that I really wanted for a while and I wasn't sure if I wanted to spend the money on it but I ended up caving and getting it and it was I think it was $9.99 the next thing I got which I've actually seen on YouTube before but I just wasn't sure if it was something that I wanted to use because Basically, when I use eyeliner or gel liner, I love my gel liner, and I got my gel liner from MAC. Um, I have Black Track Fluid Line from MAC, and I've had this for quite a while, um, and it's just drying out and getting really clumpy and gross, so it's kind of like not usable anymore. So I decided to go and get a drugstore brand and see how those worked out for me. So I got Physicians Formula Shimmer Strips Custom Eye Enhancing Gel Cream Liner. And this is for brown eyes and it's 20 it says it's 24 hour wear and they um show like it comes with purple, brown and also a black with purple shimmer in it. So that's what this looks like. And I'm actually using the brown on my eyes today. And I really, really love the application. It was really amazing. Um, I used my, my I used my Mac 209 brush to apply it, and it just applied flawlessly. It was perfect. So that's something else I got. I wanted to get a br a black liquid liner because when I did, I um 
I saw this Maybelline black liquid liner. Um, it's ultra liner and it's waterproof from Maybelline New York. And I've tried it, I've used it a few times, and when I go out all night, um, and my my eyeliner ends up getting like crusty and gross and like starts peeling off like by pieces and I really didn't like that so I wanted to find another liner that was really good and I ended up finding NYX Studio Liner which I really like I tried it in the purple I actually have the purple as well um, and I just I really love this liner so that's why I bought the black in this and so this is I guess it doesn't say color but it's 122010 that is there I don't know if you can see it but that is the liner and it comes with a regular brush it's not a sponge and I really love it like this is the way it applies ah that was horrible So you can choose how like dark or light you want it. And then I also got the purple in this color. What that looks like. The next thing I got was the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Yogurt. I figured it was a really good neutral color um, that I could use for base for things. Um, for any kind of natural eye look. So let me swatch this for you. <laughs> That's what that looks like right there and I also got um, from Physicians Formula Conceal RX and I got the green concealer because it's supposed to cover all of your red blemishes and that type of thing and I've never used a green concealer so I figured I'd see how that works out for me so that's what that looks like so I went out and I bought new clothes because Honestly, I ride my bike to school, so I've never worn shorts before, but I decided that, you know, it's really hot where I live, and I kind of need a pair of shorts, or at least a couple pairs of shorts, and tank tops, and that type of thing, so when I went shopping, I went to Ross, and I went to Macy's, and I got a few new things that I really love, so the first thing I got from Ross is this tank top, and it's just a floral tank top with a razor back. It looks like that and it's got a little pocket here I love that, that it's like gray and pink another shirt that I got from Ross was this purple shirt here and it's also floral it's got lace detailing here and buttons coming down the top and then it it gets fitted here on the bottom so it's more of like a loose look and it stays fit from Ross I also got one more shirt and then I got a pair of shorts and I got this shirt here it's just a really loose fitted top it's three-quarter length and it comes fitted on the bottom and then I got these shorts and I think the detailing on the butt is really, really cute. I love the button. And I love the thread here on the, on the pocket. It's so pretty. Let's go on to my Macy's purchases. And I got another pair of shorts. And these were on sale. These are from Green. And they have, like, these little patches on them, which I think is so cute. And then on the butt as well but they're a little bit smaller on the butt so there's that detailing and then that and then they're like cut off shorts so they're really 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 cute my next pair of shorts were from American rag and they're like a brown cargo type shorts and it came with this pretty pink belt braided belt and they're kind of just regular cargo shorts really really cute a really loose 
fitted shirt and it's kind of bright so you guys are gonna think I'm crazy because it is going into fall but it's a Hurley shirt and it's perfect for me to be wearing when I'm riding my bike this shirt was $9.99 it's just like an orange and pink really really bright flowy shirt it's like a crop top type and then this I think was the best deal I got so far from Macy's and it's just such a cute loose comfortable shirt that's what it looks like I love it so much it's really really soft material it's just amazing and normally I really don't like florals this shirt I kind of splurged on it was $14.99 and this is also from American rag and it's like a braided tank top top and then it's this like mustardy color with florals and orange and it also has this here so you can tighten the bottom so it's a really loose pretty tank top so that's all that i got i hope you really enjoyed it all right well i hope you guys are having a fabulous day and i will see you later bye